Hi guys, it's almost Passover, so I am going to tell you the story of Passover. Long, long ago, before I was born, before your parents were born, your grandparents, your great-grandparents, long, long, long time ago, in the land of Egypt, there was an evil king, and his name was Pharaoh. Now, Pharaoh did not like the Jewish people, and he made the Jewish people slaves. They worked so hard, and it was such a hard, hard, hard life, and the children couldn't play with each other outside like they do now, like we do now, and bake and do all the fun things. Life for the Jews were very hard. Well, Pharaoh decided he didn't like the children. He was scared because the children, the people were having more and more children and there were more and more Jewish people. So one mom got very afraid. So she put her child into a basket and sent him down the Nile River. And that child went down the Nile River. She wanted to save him. And he went down the Nile River all the way. He floated to the palace where Pharaoh's daughter was there in where this river flowed and she found this baby. She took this baby and she named him Moses. That means from the water. And she raised this baby and this baby was a Jewish baby, but she didn't tell anybody. And Moses didn't know he was Jewish either. He grew up in the palace and he had a great life and you know then as he was getting older he was noticing how the Jews were working so hard and he thought wow this 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 life for the Jews is, is not fair it, it's it's really not and then you know what he found out he was Jewish he says what I'm Jewish too then he got scared like wow I'm Jewish if Pharaoh finds out what's he gonna do that's it I'm running away and he left. He left Egypt. Well, he became a shepherd. And um, for years, he lived and he, he married a woman, Zipporah. And he had two sons of his own, two children of his own. And um, he became a shepherd. And one day, he was out with um, taking the sheep. And you know what? A shepherd shepherds the sheep. They move them and they graze. That means they eat and then they come back to where you they live. And he lived in a tent and had a pretty good life. And the one day he took the sheep out and he saw something. He saw a burning bush. And he said, what? What, what is that? that? That bush looks perfectly healthy, but it's on fire. It's kind of strange. And then he heard a voice and it was the voice of God. And God said, Moses, you must go back to Egypt. You must free the Jewish people. And Moses is like, wow. And he it was like, how can I do that? He goes, don't worry. I'm behind you. I'm going to be there with you. Take this staff, and it's going to help you. So Moses was, he said, okay, I'm going to do this. He was very scared, but he made his decision. He was going to go back to Pharaoh and ask him to let the Jewish people go. Well, he was scared, but he did go back. And he went back to Moses and he said, Mo he went, sorry, he went back to Pharaoh. He said, Pharaoh, you must let the people go. And Pharaoh said, ha, I'm not letting the people go, You're, the Jewish people go. Why would I do that? He goes, because my, Moses said, because my God said you must. And Pharaoh was like, no, 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 I will not let them go. You remember that song. But anyway, that's what happened. He refused. So Moses warned him. And he says, you know what? You're going to be sorry. And sure enough, he turned the rivers all red, blood red. And he used his staff to do it. And... Not only did that, he, there were 10 plagues because each time Moses asked Pharaoh, please let our people go after the rivers were red. It was not good. People couldn't drink the water. It was terrible. And you know what? Pharaoh still said, nope, I'm still not letting your people go. Then Moses says, fine, guess what? There's going to be frogs everywhere, trillions of them everywhere. 
and there were frogs jumping everywhere, frogs here, frogs there, and people couldn't eat. They would try to eat, and frogs would jump on their plates and everywhere. It was horrible. And Pharaoh said, still, ah, that was bad, but you know what? I'm still not letting your people go. The Jewish people are still going to be slaves here. So then Moses said, okay, I'm going to put lice everywhere. These bugs were flying everywhere. And you try to eat again. They would get in your mouth. Oh, they were everywhere. It was gross. Then there were lice. And then there were wild beasts. And the cattle, you know, cattle, they, they got diseased. And there were boils. Um, this was another plague where it made people itch and it was uncomfortable. There were 10 plagues in all. It's a lot. Then there was hail. That's, that's the ice coming from the sky. It was raining ice. Locusts, again, everywhere. Um, the darkness. There was darkness for a while. You know, you wouldn't have any sunshine. All these things. And finally, Moses gave in. After the 10th plague, Moses gave in. And you know what? So I, Pharaoh gave in. Sorry about that. Pharaoh gave in to Moses. And he said, fine, let your people go. Go. I've had it with all this. And so Moses says, come on, everybody. Let's hurry. Pack up. Let's go. And they headed out. They, took, they had to pack really quickly. They did make dough to take with them. And guess what? Over time, the dough, with the sun beating down on them, the z dough turned to matzah. That's why we eat matzah on Passover. But anyway, they left. Getting back to the story, they left, and they were heading out. And it was a long journey. They went for a long and walked and walked. And Moses said, hurry before Pharaoh changes his mind. But you know what happened? They walked and walked and walked. And they got to some, they got to a big body of water, the Red Sea. And you know what? Pharaoh did change his mind. And they came, they were coming. The Jewish people could see them coming and they were stopped at this big body of water. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? We're stuck. We can't move. But you know what? God was there to help us. Moses raised his staff. And sure enough, the body of water opened up and the Jews could go through the land between the two walls of water. And they hurried and hurried and hurried and rushed across. And the soldiers, Pharaoh's soldiers, got very scared. And you know what? They ran away. And the Jews got away. And they were free. And we tell this story every year of how the Jews were freed and how Moses helped in God. And we tell this story every year on Passover. And you know what? You'll be telling your, your children the same story. Have a wonderful Passover.